All right, I'm gonna be unboxing the new SodaStream Enso. This is the most expensive SodaStream that has ever been made, so I'm excited to play around with it and compare it to some of the other lower end models and just see if it's worth the price. So let's, uh, let's get it open. This is a fancy looking. Oops. Okay, so apparently they just kind of toss in the the CO2 bottle cylinder. So watch out for that. Um, that is interesting packaging. Okay, well you get a CO2 bottle, but it's not in this fancy looking. Look at this like uh, fancy handle here. Okay, well let's put this put this off. All right, Enzo, a SodaStream experience. Ooh, it's an experience, okay. Uh, oh, I think this is maybe the designer. Sparkling water has existed on Earth for thousands of years, creating a timeless connection with humanity. Almost 300 years ago, scientists were able to industrialize the creation of sparkling water, making it a privilege reserved for a few. Through sturdy professional tools, through sturdy professional tools made of polished metal, a burst of inspiration was unleashed. Enso reveals a deeper dimension of heritage, science, engineering, and design, delicately infusing their richness into people's lives, creating perfect sparkling experiences. Wow, that was a lot of mumbo jumbo, not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, it's a sparkling water machine. It's not like a time traveling device here. Um, I will say, this box is nice. Um, we got French on the other side. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, all right, so looks like we've got tab here. Packaging is definitely fancier. Look at this. Welcome. Oh, it's got like a, what do we got in here? Okay, an exclusive gift for you. Make sure to clear your extra Enso bottle for free. Okay, I'll probably do that if that's really the case. Drip tray and cleaning cloth, okay. So it's gonna get fingerprints on it is my guess. All right, so we got this cleaning cloth. Oh, it kind of feels like a thicker like TV microfiber cloth. It's got a little SodaStream logo on it. That's nice, okay. Put that off. Um, a drip tray and and so a social stream experience and it looks like a quick start guide pretty sure i don't need that but keep it out okay so and so social stream experience this looks like top of a bottle okay and I'm gonna take this out. All right, see the inside of the box has got this kind of nice gold design here. All right, it's not a, not a bad little box. Let's, let's put this off over here. Kinda... Okay. So we're inside of a bag here. It's like we're opening up like a cologne or something. Um, user license, let's not worry about that. Okay. First, first thoughts here. Oh. Okay. Um, I mean, Gosh, um, oh boy. It, it's nice looking. Um, I mean, I, I like this, the front profile, like quite a bit, and even the side, and I can see how it, yeah, it's gonna get fingerprints on it. 
it's definitely like a decent heft to it, especially with the bottle in. It's a nice action. Um, yeah, it's got a good weight to it. So it's got a push down button similar to like the Terra versus the Art, you know, which has like a pull lever. So what are my thoughts? Um, I guess the reason I'm looking a little disappointed is this, this upper part, especially, um, I, I do like the design of it. I think it looks nice. It's plastic. Um, yeah, I don't really, yeah. Okay, well, let's just keep going through. Okay, so this is the, this is the bottle and I've actually already had gotten another one of these. So this has like a removable base, which I guess, you know, make it a little easier for cleaning. Don't get any gunk in there. Um, I do like this bottle. I like that it is the, like the snap in lock. I think that's my, my, one of my favorite features from like the Art and the Terra. This action feels like really um, pretty solid. Let's look at the back. I'm assuming this is, oh, okay. So this stays in place. Oh man. Does this not have covers? Is this just open like this? Um, all right, let's, uh, let's put a bottle in. I've got another one here. It's already opened. So if we put a quick connect bottle in, I mean, that's nice. I like that versus like pulling off an entire back. So I do like, I do like that. I don't like that this is kind of open like this. It just, uh, the only thing is I'll say if you were doing like a direct connection, it might make it easy to run the tube out, but then I just don't know. Okay, it does have a, all right, we've got a nice base so we could just run a, a tube if we wanted to go directly out. Um, should be, easy enough. Oh, I do like that. Um, to go out the base here and it looks like, yeah, there's, looks like two easy screws to, to remove here if we wanted. Um, or you could just run the line through there. So directly connecting this would be f doable, but only out the base, unless you wanted to maybe thread up through here. It just, it looks like it'd be really tight. Um, I don't know how I feel like this back being kind of open like this just looks it's kind of like oh yeah there's our pink you know quick connect system it's just it's kind of odd um but you know the side profile is nice um i mean this is gonna look nice in a kitchen like this this just just the look of it the thinness of it comparatively to like the Terra, uh, I really like. So that's great. Um, I was hoping for like, honestly, just more like metal to it. Um, it just feels, I feel like there's a couple parts that are metal. Like that piece there feels, um, feels like metal, but then most everything else feels pretty plasticky. Maybe, maybe it's not, I don't know. Or maybe it's just the inside of it. Okay. Um, yeah, it's definitely heavier. Let's do a quick, just a quick wane. Do I have a CO2? I do have a CO2 bottle in there. So let's just see. Out of curiosity. That's at 2182 grams. Let's take the bottle out and make it a fair comparison. And this is uh, 3397, although I'm not sure what the weight of our tanks is. So let's take, let's take those out and just do a quick, this one might be more empty, yeah it is. So just on our weight, weight system here. So we're at 1296 with 
without anything on it and 22.76. Yeah, so I mean almost a kilogram heavier. Um, and I, I do I do like that weight. I think, you know, when you're pressing down and carbonating, it's nice to have that extra weight. Okay, so that's uh, everything that's in the box of the Enzo. So you've got your box. We've got our little base plate here, bottle and cap, a welcome kit with uh, a little cleaning cloth, quick start instructions. And yeah, so that's the unboxing of the Enzo. Oh, I'm really conflicted on this. I really wish this was more metal and not just kind of polished feeling plastic. It is heftier, but I like this back, but I don't know. Mixed, very mixed. Okay, 